The first speaker is Abu Bakr, serial number three. And his topic is Equality and Justice in Islam. Please come on the dice and deliver your speech. نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم أما بعد قال الله تبارك وتعالى في كلامه المجيد والفرقان الحميد فعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أيها الناس إنا خلقناكم من ذكر وأنسى وجعلناكم شعوبا وقبائل لتعارفوا إن أكرمكم عند الله أتقاكم إن الله عليم قبير. Prominent president of today's program, respected judges and dear all, السلام عليكم and a very good evening to all of you. Today, on this auspicious gathering, I would like to speak a few words on a very important topic: equality and justice in Islam. Dear friends. Islam is the perfect form of a true religion and complete code of life. It guides mankind in all spheres of life, whether it is political, social, economic, or religious. Let me tell the first and foremost teaching of Islam about equality. That is, all mankind were created from a single pair of parents, yet they had spread to different climes. And develop different languages and different shades of complexion, but they are equal on the basis of humanity and brotherhood, as it is mentioned in Surah Al-Baqarah, chapter two, ayah two seventeen, chapter three, ayah one seventy-three, Surah Al-Imran, chapter four, ayah one seventy-five, and so on. I would be humble enough to recite one one verse with its translation, as the glorious Quran says. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أيها الناس إن خلقناكم من ذكر وأنثى وجعلناكم شعوبا وقبائل لتعارفوا إن أكرمكم عند الله يتقاكم O oh mankind, we have created you from a single pair of male and female, and made you into races and tribes, so that you may identify one another. Surely, the noblest of you in Allah's sight is the one who is the most pious of you. Surah Al-Hujurat, chapter 49, ayah 13. This ayah explains some important points, which are as follows. Respected friends. Islam demands Muslim to maintain justice and transparency with everyone, even if it goes against one's near and dear ones. As Surah Nisa chapter 4, ayah 135, clearly describes that be upholders of justice, even though against the interest of yourself or the parents and the kinsmen. The sentence of this ayah, وَلَوْ عَلَىٰ أَنفُسِكُمْ أَوِلْ وَالِدَيْنِ وَالْقَرَبِينَ clearly shows that be upholders of justice even though against the interest of yourself or the parents and the kinsmen. As the second Caliph Umar has given practical shape to this, as you know that in Islam al all is taboo means haram. Whosoever is caught drunk, they are punished with it is salacious. Once the son of second Caliph Umar namely Abu Shama, committed their sin and was caught drunk, so he passed the order to punish his son with 80 salashes. In fact, he died at 25th salash, and the remaining five salashes were hit on his grave. Musannaf Abdul Razak, 1017047, Allahu Akbar, such a great level of justice it was. In today's world, if the children of leaders and ministers commit anything or do anything wrong, they use all their influence to save their children from being punished. Likewise, 
Islam asks them to act upon the justice. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, People beware of injustice. Injustice shall be darkness on the day of judgment. Respected friends, Islam demands to Muslim, Muslim to maintain justice and transparency with everyone. If we cast our minds back, we will come to know that in spite of the lofty ideal and enlightenment, the wish did not solve racial problems and injustice. Wherever we look, we find inequality and injustice. While Islam has achieved success due to its universal teachings and divine section. However, brothers, there are some key points to combat inequality and injustice. The first is the principle of the brother who laid down here is based on the protective foundation and differences are only for sake of identification. The second is to uproot racial hatred and to treat each other with good conduct regardless of religion, caste and creed. The third is to introduce the teachings of Islam about each one of them, especially in schools, colleges and universities as well, by writing books and articles. Here I wind up my speech with the name of Allah. Adlu insaf faqat hashre pe mawkuf nahi. Adlu insaf faqat hashre pe mawkuf nahi. Zindagi khud bhi gunahon ki saza deti hai. Thank you so much for your kind attention and listening to me patiently. Jazakumullahu khairan jazakum.